Welcome to the video lecture on periodic and aperiodic signals. In this video, we will consider an example x of t is equal to 2 times cosine of 3t plus pi by 4. The task is to determine is this signal periodic or not? If periodic, what is the fundamental period? So, to begin with, we will compare this with the standard signal cosine of omega t plus phi where omega is the angular frequency and phi is the phase angle. So comparing these two, I can write omega is equal to 3. And I know that omega is equal to 2 pi into f, which is equal to 3. Therefore, I can write f equal to 3 divided by 2 pi hertz. And from this, I can write the time period t is equal to 1 over f, which is equal to 2 pi divided by 3. So this is the time period. So next we'll consider the signal x of t plus capital T to test the periodicity. So this I have to make it equal to the given signal x of t itself. If that is the case the given signal is periodic or else it is a periodic. So to begin with so I'll consider 2 times cosine of 3 into bracket so it is t previously I have to replace t with t plus capital T so t plus capital T in our case is 2 pi divided by 3 plus pi by 4 I'll keep this as it is so next I have to simplify this further so 2 times cosine of into bracket 3t plus so 3 and 3 would cancel I'll get 2 pi plus pi by 4. So next I'll rearrange the terms so that I'll get 2 times cosine of 2 pi plus 3t plus I would write pi by 4. And I already know that from the trigonometry cosine of 2 pi plus theta is equal to cos theta itself. So using that result I can write this as 2 times cosine of 3t plus pi by 4. So by comparing this with the original signal it is the given signal x of t. So that we have proved that x of t plus capital T is equal to x of t. Hence I can say that the given signal is periodic with the fundamental period t equal to 2 pi divided by 3.